the show. I like to take that stripper to my mom. Dress in the stripper's boots. She's ready to carry herself as a stripper. Yeah. I'm really? scared, I'm scared. Hey, Rajosh, that's scary. Yeah. How you doing? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. The president's wife goes on TV and speaks like that to the nation. What do you expect the country to feel? Then you hear Obama's wife, the first lady of America, address the nation. You must be envious and say, ah, it's a big ridicule. <laughs> no, but you so have how to... does our first lady speak to the nation? No, you see, if she cannot address? speak English, <laughs> I'm not against that she cannot speak English. I'm saying she should even speak in her language. Yeah. But first of all, we didn't vote for her to speak to us in the first place. Our but husband she's the first lady. Was, so what? Mm. The people. Hada, please, can you come and say hello to my dad? No. <laughs> She's a <laughs> The places. Times Square, Times Square, Times Square. From the cities of the world. We love to bring you the show from some of the best locations in the world. Miami Beach, Florida. Welcome to New York City. <laughs> to the streets of Nigeria. But for me, I believe the morning are the roots of all groove. The Adaslim Show. And here is Adaslim. Let's go. The Adaslim Show. Let's go. I was taught in broadcasting that the media exists to educate, entertain, and inform. Now this is the Adaslim Show. All right. Let's go. The Adaslim Show. Let's go. Nigerian Factor, being physically challenged. I made a few trips to my physically challenged friends. That's the only way I can actually spend some time with them, be in their shoes for some moments, and see life through their own perceptions. So I started with these gorgeous ladies, trying to find out their biggest difficulties in being physically challenged. I think being a physically challenged doesn't mean anything. It doesn't think because I'm a physically challenged, I can't do what other people are doing. Mm. Or because I'm a physically challenged, I can't go out, I can't hang out with friends, I can't go to meetings, to parties, to clubs and all that. But being a physically challenged, I think is a very, very great challenge for me as yeah. a person. Because the movement, the accommodations, and everything is very, very difficult. But yeah. if you're into sports, you find it very, very easy. Mm, not, though, no, not too no, I won't. Though people have been, you know, if I walk on the street, people will keep on looking at me. Some will be pitying, some will be looking. I mean, but I don't really mind all those things. So, how do you feel when they pity you? Uh -uh. Ah, to you me, I don't even like it. Yes, things yeah. like that. I don't need, yeah. Because yeah, there's something to pity about. You're yes. Good. Oh, Anytime I walk, I don't know. I go to church, I walk wherever I want to. The worst part of it is getting out of your home to the bus stop, from the bus stop, heading somewhere. Maybe before you can enter a taxi, even for a taxi to wait. To be that is another challenge of its own. And mm -hmm. getting to the bank, to me, I can't see. When I go to the bank, I'll make sure I see the manager. They will have their something. I'll go to the bank. So mm -hmm. I'll see you understand. It hey, so, shouldn't be like that. You're not supposed. You're, you're a customer in the bank. You're not supposed to go through the back door yeah, because, because they have challenges. They should be able to build no something accessible. It's true. There is yeah. no provision for especially people in the bank, which is true. Which is true. Mm -hmm. which is true. Yes, Paul. <laughs> that's part of it. Yeah, he's physically challenged and he's doing exactly something. He's keeping himself busy. Yes. The Adaslim Show. Let's go. And then another great friend of mine who is full of talent and makes his physical challenges. He plays football, throws shot put, sings, and even dances. That's my friend Odi, aka Crazy Leg. Up to like 15, 15 years. Mm. So then I was uh, even ashamed of myself going out for people to just uh, look at me. You know, and I'll look myself, look myself, look myself. From there, I started saying that no, I will not be going out again. I don't you mean like you stop going out? Yeah, I don't like people looking at looking me. Looking at you. So my friends now they will start telling me that hey. 
Okay, come on, let's go out. Let's go out. Feel free. Don't be shy. Why are you feeling shy? Why are you so afraid of these people? They won't harm you. They won't do you anything. Yeah. So, mm, I don't know. So, from there, I started following them. Yeah. Outside. So, you have good friends. That's mm. good. Sometimes I play football too. Yeah. You know, mm. when the cars moved, they like splash on you? Yes, yes. They splash on you. Mm. How do you feel when that happens? I feel somehow bad. I'm uh... angry. <laughs> but I only pray to God that, well, it's their turn, let them be doing it. Yeah. Because my own time is coming. Yeah. And I also... You have to be flying in private yeah. jet. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be your manager, Ozzy, seriously. Yeah. Even as I was chatting with Odi, I had a first hand experience of the challenges as a driver of a tricycle passed by and splashed water on everyone. And come on, that doesn't go well with Odi's height. That's crazy, Kegan yeah. That's what we're talking about. The Ada Slim Show. Let's go. Coming up. Sometime I stand on the road, people will see me with my stick. Mm. Hello, 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 please hurry up me. You just put oh. me like shit. Later. This one, how much is it? It's 300. 300 naira. Yes. Wow, I like it. Okay. Then I continued my quest. I went over to Teslin Belogun Stadium to meet with Coach Ade and a visually impaired friend who is an athlete and also a fashion designer. Today, I have Coach Ade in the studio alongside his protege. The Ada Slim Show. Let's go. Please welcome Coach Ade. Hi, good to see you. Nice wow, see you, you look nice. Thank you. <laughs> I like your jersey. Thank you. Wow, you we had a great time at the stadium. Yeah. I have to play back that clip, but um, okay. first of all, what made you to volunteer to help the, the physically challenged? Mm, I have the passion for them. So mm -hmm. when I started, I started with a deaf athlete. Mm -hmm. Later, I transferred myself to the blind, to the blind. And special, special athletes. So mm. special people. So from there, I try to help most, most especially the deaf, I mean, the blind. You mm. know, they can't see. So I have the passion for them to help them. When we finish training, I have to take them to bus stop, mm. make sure they enter bus. Wow. Then you take um, them one by one. One by one. Wow. So you look good. I mean, when you train these people, you end up keeping fit yourself yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's true. So we had a good time with you um, at the stadium, yeah. and my producer, Obio Kafo, you know, okay. she had a routine with yeah, you. You yeah, remember yeah, that? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Let's just check out the video. She okay. was so knocked out okay. after that routine. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just check okay. it out. That wasn't easy, you know. It's, it's saw my assistant, ma, the way she she was totally knocked out. No, and not not the doing it. That's why he has not been doing it. <laughs> she that has body the, aches no. all through. Yeah. So you mean it's good to practice it more often? Very, yeah. Even okay. For your health, not mm -hmm. maybe you are slim or you are fat. You need it for your daily life. Right. So even as slim as I am, you, you think I need to keep fit? Yeah, <laughs> for you to be strong, mm -hmm. you know. So you have Monday here in the house, and Monday is the guy that actually made some of this craft. Yes. And uh, we have to take a. This is lovely. So we have to take a break right now. And when we come back, we'll be meeting my very very good friend, my BFF, meaning my best friend forever, Monday. He made all these things, and I will see you guys in a bit. Let's go. The Ada Slim Show. Let's go. Yeah. My name is Energy Chris NNG, a movie director and a filmmaker. You are watching Ada Slim Show. Inspiring and educative. Let's go. My name is Namama Karo. I day here with Ada. I'm going watch Ada Slim Show. Ha. The Ada Slim Show. 
Let's go.